What's going on guys, it's Jake here and today I'm going to be making my own Game Boy from scratch. This is the Nibble. <laughs> it's a little handheld game that you make yourself from the folks at Circuit Mess. It comes with four preloaded games that are probably definitely not ripoffs of arcade games. As you can see here, it comes with all of these things. It even comes with your own soldering iron, which is kind of cool. I bought this for $64, I think. I got it 10% off. I just I think it was an Instagram advertisement. It looked cool, so I got it. If you want one yourself, use the code thank you 10 and you'll get 10% off. I'm sure that's for me to use and not for you guys to use. Little trick, uh, if you just put in like thank you or thanks or something like that in the coupon code section, most websites will give you like 5 to 10% off. Empowering kids and adults through hands-on STEM experience. I thought it was STEAM now. Uh, it was STEM when I was young, but you can do it. Oh, this, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. You can make your own smartwatch, a mix table. You can make walkie talkies. This is sick. Self-driving. Okay, that's cool. This reminds me a lot of the KiwiCo boxes. Uh, I've never used one, but everybody and their brother is sponsored by them. Love to be sponsored by them. Uh, <laughs> but this looks more like a, a one-time thing instead of a su subscription. And it's probably a little more complicated than things that uh, KiwiCo does. But this is super cool. Okay. A little, little complaint. You have all these papers you've got a booklet and then two other pieces of paper yet i still have to go to your website to get the instructions two hours hopefully for beginners it's only two hours i i don't have two hours today so this might be a come back on monday to fix or finish it oh maybe that was not a good idea Another small complaint, but would be nice if they had them separated into little baggies. Okay, I'm gonna flip my hat around just because a lot of the time I get my head in the way of the overhead. Don't really wanna do that today. So it just says to start with the A button and we're gonna stick this in the holes. There we go. They only fit in one way, it looks like, because I tried to do it the other way to start. Boom. I, I'm glad that it's thorough for uh, for beginners, but like for me, I, I don't need all this information on how to solder. I'm just gonna go ahead and put all the buttons in. I'm just gonna keep going and see how many things we just gotta put in holes. I'm just gonna save the soldering for the end. There we go. The on off switch was hard to do. Pretty much only one way to put in the screen here. So we're definitely going to have to do the soldering now. So here's my soldering iron. Grab my solder, grab my flux. Heating up my soldering iron while I do that. I'm just gonna put flux all over all these pins. I don't know if they mention it in the guide at all, but flux just makes life so much easier. So far, I'd say if you're a beginner, this is a great way to learn how to solder. I'm gonna try their solder because I'm like out of mine. They they have their solder set up very weird. <sighs> Ugh. Their solder is very smelly. It's kind of making me nervous. I don't know. Part of me thinks that it might be 
a solder with lead in it. I use lead-free solder, so I'm gonna put a mask on for the remainder of the soldering, because you shouldn't breathe lead. <laughs> so, sorry if the audio is bad for a minute. I'll try not to. I'll try to save my thoughts for later. Time to solder the very last thing, and that's just putting in the battery pack. Oh, okay. I see. I'm stupid. The whole time I thought that this thing right here was the battery connector. That's cool. You you don't have to solder the fuse. You can just drop it in. Yeah, we're just gonna drop this in. Maybe. There we go. It's a kind of a tough one. And we're gonna go ahead and put in our batteries. And I. I think from here we're just gonna turn it on. Boom. All the buttons work. This is gonna be the least fun part of this build, so I'm just gonna skip on past this. Honestly, if I was a kid doing this, this is where I'd lose interest. And say, Dad, can you do this for me? <laughs> okay. Whoo! We did it. Plenty of extra parts, which is what I like to see. Here is the nibble. I don't know what bonk is. I like how it's invaders, not space invaders. Bonk, Space Rocks, which I'm assuming is Asteroids, and Snake. Not even gonna hide that one. I think Bonk is Pong, but I gotta see. Yep, it's Pong. It's very difficult Pong. I am getting absolutely wrecked in Pong. You don't... <sighs> Dude! Oh my god. That was the hardest game of Pong I've ever played in my life. But yeah, this is pretty cool. You get to see your work with the clear casing. I do like that, but it was really annoying to put or peel all the stuff off the acrylic, so I'd rather use something else. It would have been nice to see a rechargeable battery pack instead of uh, AAA batteries. It's got a micro USB cord in there already and it, I don't know, maybe it's a lot cheaper, but I think it would have been nice. But yeah, my overall thoughts, this is a really good way to learn how to solder. It, is, it was fun. I think I had a little less fun because of it, it is very handholdy. If you are not a beginner, if you have been doing this for a while like me, it's not as fun because you know all the stuff, but it is good if you are a beginner and you don't have anyone to help you, this will tell you everything you need to know. I don't know if this is leaded solder, and if there is lead in the solder, I would say this has got to be changed. Circuit Mess, if you're listening, if there is lead in the solder, Please change it. But yeah, it's a cool little Game Boy thing. Handheld emulator. I would also like to see something to cover the screen to protect it because it's just exposed and the first time you touch it, it's gonna leave a fingerprint and if you go to spray your ice purple alcohol on it, no, 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 that's very bad. It will hurt it and there's nothing to protect it. So would I recommend this? Yes, if you're a beginner. If you want to learn how to solder, I highly recommend this kit. I think they even teach you how to code games for this, which is really cool, and I might check that out. Let me know if you want a follow-up video of me learning how to code a game for this. If you do want 10% off, thank you, 10. As I'm not affiliated at all. Uh, this will not give me any money. I just want to save you guys a buck. I will link it all down below, but if you guys did enjoy this video, please 
listen to Britney. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Only 1% of my viewers are actually subscribed. Again, let me know if you want a follow-up video of me trying to code my own game for this. Also, let me know what you think of this. If you've done it before, I want to know how it went. If you're going to do it, I want to know how it goes. But I think that's all for now, so I will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. I'd like to give this away so someone could learn how to solder, but uh, I don't think it's smart to give away a death stick that goes up to a cool 450 degrees Celsius.